Good evening and welcome to my home. Let's start out with a word of prayer. Father God, I just thank you for your amazing grace, for your mercy and your love for each one of us. I'm so thankful, God, that you gave us a pattern to live by, a, a way where we can learn of you and learn how to walk with you and to grow in our relationship with you. And just thank you and bless you for this time together. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Well, tonight we're going to talk about the um, pattern for the wives or for the bride. Um, last week we talked about the husbands, and um, I will probably be getting some feedback from that, I'm sure. But it's important for us to know what a godly relationship looks like. You know, every relationship w from the outside can look really good, but it's what happens on the inside. It what It's what happens when no one else is around. It's the character and the integrity of the people that make a relationship strong. Knowing each other, not only physic physically, but emotionally. It's very important. And that intimate relationship is what Jesus longs for with each one of us. We are all the bride, all of us. The whole church is the bride. The first, um, the title of this is Our Godly Pattern the wife, for the Wife or the Church. Uh, the first verse is Song of Songs, chapter 8, verses 10 through 13. And this is out of the Passion Translation. But now I have grown and become a bride, and my love for him has made me a tower of passion and contentment for my beloved. I am now a firm wall of protection for others, guarding them from harm. This is how he sees me. I am the one who brings him bliss, finding favor in his eyes. My bridegroom king has a vineyard of love made from a multitude of followers. His caretakers of this vineyard have given my beloved their best. But as for my own vineyard of love, I give all glory to you, and I will give double honor to those who served my beloved and have watched over my soul. My beloved, one with me in my garden, how marvelous that my friends, the brides-to-be, now hear your voice and song. Amen. What powerful verses. This describes our role as the bride, the promised bride of our Lord Jesus Christ. This is how we develop in our relationship with Him to such a point that others are affected by it. His love is contagious. It should bring such joy and peace into your life despite any circumstances that goes on because at the end of the day we're going to be with him forever you know the bible paul says you know he had many trials but still he endured because if he died he would be with the lord but if he lived he would live for him it made no difference to him our lives have to become that kind of sacrifice that we're willing and ready to give to the Lord Jesus for Him to use us in a way. You know, I look at, it said His vineyard of love is made from a multitude of followers. Each one of us is important to Him. Each one of us is precious. Each one of us brings something different. No two are alike. You know, it's like a, a fragrance is made up of many different smells. And together, blended together, he makes a beautiful new fragrance, a blended fragrance. His fragrance and our fragrance together. 
And as we continue following after him and, and, and spending time with him and deepening that relationship, we're going to see some amazing things happen. And what will that do? That will cause the brides-to-be, those who haven't received Jesus as their Lord and Savior, to want to know him to want to have that relationship with Him that fulfills you. We have to make people hungry for what we have. But if you're not demonstrating it in your life, what's the difference in between you and anything else in the world? Amen. The second verse, verses I have is from the book of Ephesians, chapter 5, verses 21 through 24. And this is instruction for the bride. And we usually hear this at weddings. And out of your reverence for Christ, be supportive of each other in love. For wives, this means being devoted to your husbands like you are tenderly devoted to our Lord. For the husband provides leadership for the wife, just as Christ provides leadership for his church as the savior and reviver of the body. In the same way, the church is devoted to Christ. Let the wives be devoted to her husband in everything. Praise the Lord. This is the way of the Lord. In this culture and day and time, it's not a very popular message. But if you are being cared of, cared by your husband in the way that God has commanded him to, then you will have no problem being devoted to him. You will be his biggest fan and cheerleader. You will be ready to lift him up, to strengthen him, to be in agreement with him, to help him, to encourage him. That's your place as a wife. And you know, it's not really popular these days to, to get married because you don't want to have to obey. And I'm not talking about obeying any kind of, um, of mistreatment or violent behavior because that's not what God wants for you. He wants you protected. But when you lift up your husband in prayer, God, not your will, but God's will can be done. You don't tell God what he wants, what you want him to do in your husband's life. You just lift him up to God and say, God, whatever your will is, I come in agreement with that. Help me to know what to do. And what God may tell you is put your hand over your mouth and quit speaking negatively over him. Quit demeaning him. Quit talking down to him and lift him up. Encourage him. You know, these, these words are true. These words are our example to live by for godly relationships. And it's not just husbands and wives. It's our godly relationship with everyone. We are to honor each other and to look for the very best in each other. And if there's someone that you can't see, uh, you can't see, or you don't think you see any good in, ask God to show you what He sees in them. Because it may be looking that you're looking through filters on your eyes. You're seeing what you want to see instead of what God wants you to see. Be, let's be the bride together. The bride that the Word tells us Jesus is longing to be joined with a spotless bride, a holy bride, a righteous bride, washed in the blood of the Lamb, made ready and prepared for the wedding supper. Amen. Father God, I just thank you for this time together. I thank you that your love for us is so holy and pure. We can't even understand how much just even a, a glimpse of it will be. We feel in our hearts the, the fulfillment and the joy that you bring us, and we're so thankful that we can learn 
how to walk with you and to deepen that relationship. And we know that you are wanting it even more than we do. As deep calling out to deep, we're calling out to you, Lord Jesus, take over my life. I belong to you. You have redeemed me and made me yours. Thank you, Father, for your great mercy and love. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for watching. I just bless each one of you. I pray that the Lord gives you specific revelation about this word so you can apply it to your life. I know that he loves you without in endless love, endless love, love that sacrifices, love that endures. Let's be the bride and the wife that Jesus is looking to come back for. Amen. I look forward to being with you next week. Good night and God bless.